Hello, it's me DB, and I'm in DB Studios. Welcome to All Things Brass and Technology. And we are in a new year, which is 2023. So Happy New Year to all my subscribers. And Happy New Year to all my non-subscribers that I know will become subscribers because you love me. <laughs> DB, yes. I am wishing you the best for 2023. Have an awesome year. Health, happiness, success, whatever you desire, whatever your dreams are. 2023. On the channel today, what I want to talk about, and it's going to be multi-episode. This is going to be the first episode of maybe two or three. Is trumpet efficiency playing the horn? With maximum efficiency. Now, this is something that I'm working on presently. Efficiency. And we'll talk about it. Um, for now, let's get it. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, but before we do, please remember to subscribe. It really helps the channel. I got so much stuff coming this year for you. Experiences from Donald Bird. Experiences from Bill Adam. Experiences from William Vacchiano, experiences from going to school, the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz, being around all these great musicians. I'm gonna bring all that to you. My knowledge of electronics. You can't see it, but I'm surrounded by it. Compressors, delays, I'm an analog guy. It's all right here. You can't see it. Buttons everywhere. Buttons. <laughs> I'm going to bring all that stuff to you. But I need you to subscribe to All Things Brass and Technology. Okay. So, what I'm trying to achieve is to play the trumpet with maximum, the maximum amount of efficiency. Okay. Now, what I'm also trying is to bring my capacity down to 50%, or the energy that I use. I like that word, energy, that I use when I'm playing. Now, if you're using 100% energy, I deem that as overblowing. You're overblowing, you're blasting, All right? So I wanna bring, which I don't overblow, Unless it's a creative choice. And we'll talk about that. But I'm trying to bring my capacity down from maybe 70% to 50%. And deal with that 50%. And just flow, flow with efficiency. Now, when I went to study at New England Conservatory in Boston at the Thelonious Monk School of Jazz in Boston. When I got there, I said, who is teaching classical trumpet here? They said, well, um, Charlie Schluter, Boston Symphony, principal trumpet player. I said, oh, I know Charlie Schluter. Powerful. You know, so I said, I want to study with him. 
I studied with Charlie for two years, and it was great. Charlie talked about a circle, 360 degrees, a circle, and playing as a, a circle as a bubble, and playing within that bubble. If you play outside of that bubble, you're overblowing, wasting energy, right? So I said, yeah, that, I like that. I like that way of thinking. So now, you know, I play it around 70%. I'm trying to bring that 70% down to 50% with efficiency and relaxation. And if I do play above that 50%, it is a creative, creative choice, man. Now, what do I mean by creative choice? Let's say the saxophone player is finishing up a solo and he's drifting off on the mic and the trumpet comes in, bow, right on it, bow on the one. You're gonna sting it. That's a creative choice. And that's gonna be above 50% because you're coming in like, hey, I'm, bow, I got it. Does that make sense? Otherwise, from things like that, I want to try to stay at 50%. Now, some people may see this video and say, it's not going to happen. Because, you know, as a brass player, especially in these days, you know, you're playing in a lot of different situations. It's, you know, sometimes you'll be playing with electronics and it's loud. But still, I want to try to maintain that 50% and cut through whatever I need to cut through. Okay? So let's go deeper into this. How I'm going to try to achieve this let's get it first thing first relaxation relax all of this is relaxed like a butterfly we don't want tension mm, no look at that because mm. tension is just going to end up in the aperture and the aperture will close from what I was taught, there's three parts of the embouchure, the aperture, corners, and this is called the bed. The lower part of the jaw, and the lower part of the jaw can move. Upper? No, that's part of the cranium. That's what I was taught. So we want relaxation so we can flow. Now there has to be compression somewhere. And it happens in two places. Now once again, I have to say, this is my truth. This is what I've been taught. And I've studied with Bill Adam, William Vacchiano, Donald Byrd, William Fielder, and Charlie Schluter. Other teachers, but those are my main teachers. All right? So compression happens in two places. The first is below the navel or belly button. Now, Mr. Adam talks about this he talks about the get ready and I believe I have videos on this you think about a sprinter they're at a track meet and they're about to get down and you hear on the mark get set and that's that get ready when you hear that get set you see that butt go up and then go and pow. It's like they leap and they're flying. And they're flying for a minute, then land on their feet and they're gone. So when you say on a mark and get set, boom. That's that get ready that Mr. Adam talks about. He also says it in a different way. It's like kicking a football. So we could all, you know, imagine that. We've seen it. When you see a person kick that football from one end to the other end, and you see them run up and 
Pow! And kick that ball. And that all happens below the navel. Right? Mr. Adam also talks about the buttocks, the butt being firm. That's all part of the get ready to leap. So for me, I'm relaxed up here. Now, when I'm getting ready to play, watch this. All below the navel. Okay? Relaxed. Normal state. Ready to play? Now, ready? And that's that butt being firm. Now that, <laughs> you know, when I was taught that, I was like, come on, man. It was, it was a little funny to me, man. I was like, hey, hey, come on, man. It don't feel right. But hey, hey, man, that works. Powerful. Ready? Normal state. Hey. Okay. So, we got the relaxation up here, all that, but below the navel, we're blasting off. That's one place compression happens. The other place is inside the mouth, the cavity of the mouth. So we got that tongue level, the... A lot of magic happens in there to make things easier if you know what you're doing. Hope all this makes sense. Let's keep it moving. Now, of course, we have to have proper breathing procedure. Clark Terry always used to talk about coming with a full tank of gas. William Fielder talked about filling the glass up with water. And, I, and the, the glass is the lungs, and the water is the air, right? So just really proper breathing techniques in the way I was taught. And a lot of my breathing techniques, which I'll, I'm going to do a, a, a whole video on, comes from William Fielder, also known as Profs, and Mr. Adam. Um, and William Fielder always used to talk about inhalation and exhalation, right? So inhalation, keeping the throat open and the way you keep the throat open is as if you're yawning or vowels because vowels are round like O. So you can get the maximum amount of air or relaxation. Then exhalation, right? Then, as I said, once you do that, all the magic, you know, is from below the navel and the tongue level, the, within the mouth, with the tongue moving up and down. Hi. No. Okay. So, let me demonstrate what I'm going to be working on this whole year of 2023. Because there's just certain things that I'm hearing. And, and this, is a, this is a personal thing. I mean, you're, you're just hanging with me. This is something that I'm working on. And if you could benefit from it, try it. If it doesn't work for you, leave it. There's things that teachers have taught me and I'm like, nah. I didn't say that to them, of course, because respect always. But if I tried it, and it didn't work, I'm not going to do it because it don't work for me because every student is different. And the amazing thing about Mr. Adam, he would tailor his teaching to each student. So I may say something and the Adam student hears that and they're like, oh, he didn't teach that. Hey, he didn't teach you that. Because maybe you didn't need it. You dig? And some teachers just have a formula and they just teach that, which is fine too. As long as you get something out of it and you could get to the music, 
Because we're doing all this stuff to get to the music. Does all that make sense? The final destination is to get down and get to the music. All right? So, let's keep it moving. Yeah. Hey, hope you're enjoying this. I'm enjoying making this video. <laughs> Now let me do some playing examples and I'm going to be trying to achieve maximum efficiency, trying to stay at a 50% capacity level and I'm not concerned because this is just practice. I'm not concerned about miss notes. I'm not concerned right now about pinched notes I'm just trying to make everything relaxed and using proper procedure which is flow air tongue level to produce the note not the dreaded left hand pushing the horn down your throat right everything relaxed so let me uh give you some playing examples of me moving across the octaves with what I just talked about. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what I just did was everything that I was talking about in the video. Relaxed. I was in my get ready flow, tongue level, trying to stay at 50% capacity. You know, thinking about intonation, everything, just flow, but relaxation. Keeping everything relaxed. You know, um, I remember. The first time I saw Booker Little Man on a video. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing and hearing. The cat played down like this. You know? And he was playing up and down the horn. And it didn't even look like the cat was playing. I was like, what is this? He had to play a high C, it sounded like a middle C. Just unbelievable, unbelievable virtuosity. You know, I said, man, that's some other stuff. Booker Little. Check him out, man. Check out Booker. It was special. You know? And so that's what I'm trying to get to. 50% capacity using air using compression in the mouth cavity below the navel to flow with vocabulary moving trying to keep the sound dark when you go upstairs as a creative choice if you want it brighter make it brighter but still stay within that concept let me play some more for you <laughs> Okay, so there it is. As I'm playing, I am thinking about procedure. Thinking about 50% capacity. I'm thinking about, you know, tongue level. Flow below the navel. Relaxation. 
to be able to move up and down the horn. And I don't ever want to say with ease because as trumpet players, we know it's not an easy instrument to play. But we want to strive to play with relaxation, flow, and try to make the instrument like an extension of our body. You dig? So that's what I'm going to be working on over the course of this year to really try to be able to connect all the registers. And I'm going to be doing a lot of transcribing of John Coltrane and try to play in his registers that puts me way upstairs and flow with that type of vocabulary. Now you may say, well, why do you want to play like a saxophone player? I want to play music. And I want to be able to play what I hear. And sometimes I hear some things and I go for it and it don't happen. That's okay. Because I'm in real time trying to create. But as musicians, we always have to put things in front of us to go for so we're always striving to be better. Professor Fielder said, never be satisfied. Because if you're never satisfied, you're always striving to be a better player. And to me, that's what makes music so great because it's endless. So it keeps you moving where it's just not like you're in one place and you got it together and you just do this and you do that day in, day out. That's not music. Music is huge. It's not bigger than life, but it is huge, right? And you always want to put things in front of you to go after and that will keep you moving to be better and better and better. Yes. Yes, man. Well, listen, that's my first video of 2023. 20, and there will be some follow-up videos in episode 2 and probably in episode 3 as I get better. Then I'll share some stuff with you. I'll share the pains and I'll share the successes. And as I get better, I'll share the pains and I'll share the successes. Listen, if you like the content of this channel, All Things Brass and Technology, please subscribe and click on the notification bell. And that will let you know every time that me and I'm DB drops a new video. And always, as always, thank you so much for watching.